and she whatever she either sells them or whatever she does with them and then you can see she's back to that but does, when she has it for that day or two you can tell the total difference in when she has it compared to when she does not yeah true you know i just hope for her sake and uh, you know down the road but this is going to be so mean to say but ronnie no disrespect i don't see her getting help i don't see her a, a good outcome and this is mean for me to say and I, I like i told you is i ran a sober house for women i worked in detox i'm recovering myself so i hope so but not with the help that she gets on a constant basis still i don't see and if kim like kentucky b made a comment maybe before no one listened to it if kim has stopped enabling her for as long as she was too she probably would have went because she wouldn't have had the means to get that cash every day so i agree with that statement too I appreciate you, like, keep, you keep apologizing to me, but you should not apologize to me for something that I've said myself on this app and Reddit. Okay, I just don't want to do that to you because that's <laughs> not my style, you know what I mean? No, I appreciate you, I do. I'm just saying, I've said the same thing. Honestly, I have zero hope. And I've even had this conversation with Gina. Yeah. You can back me up. Right. I have yeah. zero hope she's going to actually go to rehab and get clean if she does go to rehab and everybody keeps pushing for it that nobody realizes what even rehab she's agreed to right she's only going for 28 days and i never heard of a, a rehab no offense taking someone that was on m either i've never heard of that before in my life to be honest with you there's not many that do. I do know yeah. that for a fact. I never heard of that, to be honest with you, in my life that they had taken you and given you. That's what I was on, and I didn't go to rehab. Ronnie, can I ask a question that me and my husband is driving us crazy? Uh -huh. Your sister I don't know, has said that she only used for three and a half months, people have said, and then being on this M for 19 years. That's not a true statement, right? Um, I do want to say, if I had to guess, that I don't think that she was on H. I would not put it past six months. And they put her on this for 19 years? Make that well, make sense. Hold on. Okay. Hold, hold, hold on. <laughs> um, if you want, listen, and Lisa's all about air and business, so we'll just go ahead and air business. Um, if you want my opinion and... This is nothing against, I love all of my nieces and nephews. Right. But the boys were purposely, they, she purposely got pregnant with them because she was told that she was going to be tapered down and released from the clinic. Can't do that wow. if you're pregnant. No, you can't. That's crazy. See what I mean? Anybody that Ray made that decision from the get-go to leave her on it for as long. Listen, like, her doses are so high. She gets high in the mornings when oh, she takes it. Yep, my sister oh, did yeah. too. She's on a the crazy state, dose. The That's state why my sister went switch off it. Pays for it. She's getting high every morning for free. Why yep. would she stop? Yep. And my sister, come on. She used M because you can use with it. So she was like, I'm not going on anything else but that. And she did the same thing. They had her on such a high dosage. The minute she came out, she was high out the out the place. The minute she came out. Mm -hmm. And I'll be honest, Ronnie, I've said this about Lisa multiple times. You can take the rugs away. She's still going to be a shitty person. Yeah. She has a lot of work to do. Yeah. She has a See, lot of work to do. Even if she, let's just, let's just play devil's advocate here. Okay. Cause right. I know a couple of days ago she was on here or discord. I don't know. One of the two apps. I don't watch her at all anymore. So I don't Me know. Either. But she was online talking about how she had, has not had any um, C-Rack for like 14 days. Yeah. Okay. Let's just play devil's advocate and <laughs> say that that's true. Right. Okay. Yeah. We're just going to yay for you. you it, it's been 14 days, right? So look, the withdrawal is gone. Technically, if you're not getting off the methadone, you don't need rehab, right? So let's not go to rehab, but you still need inpatient psych help. Like she needs help. No she matter which diagnosis. way about it, she needs yes. inpatient something. She needs yes. diagnosis. And, and that's the point I was trying to make. But I, I also know that uh, her saying that she's sober the 14 days is complete BS because she goes live and she makes the mistake of showing her hands. And when you see her hands, they mm -hmm. are fucking black. Yeah. Black. I, right. I do have to say that the last three times that I have seen my sister in the last two weeks, all three times her hands were clean. 
Yeah. Now, I'm not saying that's not because my parents got running water and some soap. Right. You know what I mean? But I'm just right. saying before, when she it lived was, in her own place, right? I never seen her hands clean for like five years. You know what I mean? Her hands were not clean last night. They were that's not. Probably true. Yes. But it I might, don't. I, I don't. My mental health does not allow me to watch her. No, don't, Ronnie. Anymore. Your mental health. You got that baby you got to worry about, and she's not feeling good. I hope she feels better. Worry about you, Gina. Worry about you. What they do is not your responsibility. And the problem well, is when the trauma comes. If God forbid that us, like I lost my sister, then we have to deal with that, and then we'll deal with that. And I, you know, it took me a long time because I had guilt because I had to walk away from my sister for four years. Like I said, my little brother is the same way as Lisa, and I I am waiting for that phone I'm call to tell me, you know, um, it, he's gone. Because he's the same way he doesn't want to get help. He'll make up every excuse in the book to not get help. Because if love kept addicts clean, there would be no addicts. So let's just yeah. state that fact right there. If there's, love kept addicts clean, you have no fucking addicts in this world. None. There's two of those phone calls that I expect to receive in my life and we've already received one of them and i really 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 am really hoping she doesn't make my nieces and nephew bury both of their parents i agree with you ronnie i can't even imagine that because my life how you know you have your, that baby on your chest right now is my two sons and if i can do anything for my two sons i got myself better for them first i didn't do it for myself first i did not i did it for them first Mm-hmm. Well, they have to want it. They have to. You they have to. They that. have to want it. And yeah. you know, she's proven for the last twenty years that her kids are not her motivating factor. Wait, hold on, hold on. There's a question I want to ask. And that's all it can be. The kids can only be a motivating factor. You have to want it first. Uh, my son is the whole reason yes, I got hold on. clean too, comment. but I wanted that for myself. Hold on, there's a comment in the thing about Ronnie, so I want to answer it. Uh, Sean Rock? Yes, Ronnie answered it. She said why she had the card, and she's not, did anything wrong. She's telling you what happened with the card, and we all just heard it, so. People are responsible. Okay. You have to realize there's a lot of new people coming in for I know, so I'm just letting her know. Wait, That's why wait, I said I wasn't So, Ronnie, if you have her card, right, does she have another card? Um, no, she only has the card that I have, but I gave her, I took her card back there yesterday. That's why I was at oh, my parents' I, house. I know there was a phone call that she made to Kim last night, a voicemail that was played, and you can hear her at the ATM. That's why I was asking, because she was trying to get money out. Yeah, no. I gave her her card back around, I want to say, 9.30 yesterday morning. Okay. Roughly, give or take. <laughs> yeah, I was just wondering, because like I said, there's that voicemail that you can hear her at the ATM. I'm not surprised. From what she tells me, and honestly, I take what she says with a grain of salt, to be honest. At this point, you have to, Ronnie. You can't believe, like my sister told me a thousand times that she was getting better. You know, I told people myself a thousand times I was getting better. When you're not ready, you're not ready. You're just not. And she, and it's like, but I have to reiterate this a couple of times. If her and Kim are finally done, maybe finally Lisa has a chance. They're not done. I understand that. But maybe she has a chance of going because if you're going to keep giving her money every day these people that watch her are sick motherfuckers and give her money that's all i gotta say don't yeah. tell me you Is don't it, know i want to address, address something that keeps coming up in the chat yeah. about ronnie's uh parents and oh, uh, the phone well, first of all know. lisa lisa's grown ass woman they gave her the phone. Uh, what are they going to do? Fist fight her for the phone back? I mean, the. I it's mean, that's. Wrong, it's just ridiculous. It's not. You know. Don't talk uh, about the we, parents. I don't like it, that. Yeah, and you know, let me just say, we're all parents in here, and it's. They're it's. Kid it, three. Right. You know, we love our kids, and you know, they want to make sure their daughter is safe, and they know where she where she is. And and that's what helps them get through. It is not our place to judge how they handle the situation. Nope. But they're not going to fist fight her for the phone back. I mean, it just that's just craziness. So I don't know why that keeps coming up in the chat, but 
Or I mean, honestly, at this point, I'm tempted. <laughs> yeah, but no, your dad well, isn't going to do that. I mean, getting so. pregnant calmed me down so much. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. If I would have found out about this situation before I found out I was pregnant, she would not still be on TikTok. No. And then, Ronnie, let me tell you something right now. I said that. I said, if they had any type of control, do you think they want their fucking lives dragged over a fucking app every day of their life? And you know, Ronnie, do I agree with what your parents are doing? No. Am I in their shoes? No. But I wouldn't want to see, you know, I'm not there. We have many, many mothers that are in this chat that have been talking about their sons or daughters in addiction. I have never had to walk in those shoes. I have a 35 year old son and a 32 year old son. Thank you, Jesus up above. They did not take the route that I took. And I feel that Everybody should just like get don't talk about the parents. Would you want someone talking about your parents? Do we agree what's happening? No, but it's not our business. It's not our child that's suffering every day of a fucking addiction. Well, see, that's what I've said. Like me and Jess have had conversations, and I told her because like my stance on Lisa and her BS was a lot different two years ago than it is today. And I said to you know Jesse, I'm like, look, I'm like, I hate to say it. I said, but now that, you know, I finally do have my own daughter, I'm like, I can't promise you that in 30 years, if she's a drug addict and lands on my front door, that I'm going to make her sleep on the street because I'm not nope. going to. Nope. It's a, like you said, people are like enough. Like I said, it's not Ronnie or Jess's responsibility what her parents do. And like you said, you cannot judge nobody till you walk in their fucking shoes. You cannot. You guys are saying a lot of stuff about the parents, but what you guys don't realize and what they've said a couple times in here is it is really hard for a parent to just throw their child on the street. It's really hard for a sister to, yes. to stop interactions or to not help or to not say anything when things are being brought up. And I walked away, I had to for my sister. And you had to because for your own mental health. Gina, you are in the fight of your life and you are worrying about whether you're gonna be here for your kids, my love. You should not be worrying about what your fucking sister that's trying to come out looking like a fucking angel now that she's not and she's fucking just as bad or worse because she's the motherfucker making all the shit up in the background. First off, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but Kim is actually worse than my sister yep. because regardless of what Facts. everybody thinks about my sister, she still comes on this app almost every day and makes herself look like a complete fucking idiot yep. for what she wants. And Kim just sits there and pins a cash app and gets her own fucking money. That's that. You got, Ronnie, that's what I've been trying to say. Like, I am trying to be respectful, but fucking Kim is worse. Victoria was worse because you're behind the scenes. Lisa is the face of it. But it is when I tell you right now, Ronnie, my husband's, a re I don't know if you know this, my husband's a retired police officer. And he legit legitimately contacted PAP, PA's the police department, which I've never seen a police department in such a, uh, such disarray in my life or him. Okay, that's number one. Number two, he went FBI, DEA. I mean, he went to the top. Okay, because he's like, this has to stop. So he did. And what happened was he kept being told that it's under investigation and that it's a much bigger than you think. There was thousands of cash apps stolen and used and that it's just a matter of time. So what happens, my husband lost his patience because he wanted it done. So he walked away because I said, "Hon, you can't keep getting aggravated over fucking strangers on the internet. Are you fucking nuts? Right. So I made him walk away and because he is fucking nuts. He is with me for 40 years, so the man's nuts. Can you imagine what Mr. Jersey has to deal with at home? Yeah, he's Good doing Lord. four months before me in. <laughs> Man, just I was talking about you, friend. I know. I was talking he's, about you, friend. I am. He's blessed. He's been with me for forty, 40 years. years. Yes. Forty years. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And all of us, Kim's, Kim's coming time. down. Like Kim's in La La Land. That she did. She didn't break no laws. That's where she's a fucking idiot right there, because she is worse. Because you are giving her money every day. Every day have been, and now you want to say, oh, you cut her off? Why? Well, come on, dude, please. I can't. I don't believe it. That's what I said. Everyone's saying, oh, she's telling them that she didn't really. I understand that, but they're saying last night that you, you go watch it three hours ago. Okay. I know. You know how addicts lie. Addicts lie. That's what they do. 
Yeah, my sister literally told me to, she couldn't wait for me to unalive myself from cancer. So, but, but when she is, but when she isn't on anything, she's an amazing person. She seems it. Now you can see that. You can so, see that. For her, I could see two differences. And she knows that, like, I mean, we. I've always told her that I would be there for her if she wanted to get help. And she would contact me if she wanted to get help. And Jess has said that a thousand times on this app, that she would be there to drive her sister. Tech has offered, Villain has offered, Reaper has offered. So I don't want to hear the bullshit about a paper being signed or this or that. Your sister, can't. Uh, Gina, needs three have just as bad. Is she going to go? No. She's content right now in her warm house having Lisa do the fucking work and her fucking do behind the scenes. I'll tell you one thing. Your sister is very intelligent as far as she learned how to do all those C8s. <laughs> Look at Shane Sham Rock's comment. Let I'm me not see. lying. I saw it. He back on, on the Discord. bus ticket bullshit. Is that what you're So that talking? bus ticket, I'll talk no, about no, the no. bus ticket. The bus ticket was something Lisa used once before, long before yeah. Kim. And when that bus ticket came back up again, um, Kim didn't have in, in, any hand in that. Um, that I will say. Uh, Lisa has yeah. used that same bus ticket in the past. Oh, no, before, I'm not saying that the lies that Lisa Kim. comes up with Kim makes them all up. But again, the, the, this, let's, just, let's just go here. The Discord. You fucking think Kim's sitting on that motherfucking thing for three to four hours and not giving a fuck about Lisa anybody? Lisa just talking? dropped into Kim's Discord that's, server. I just so saw I that. Lisa's back well, into Kim's Discord yeah, server. That's what there I said. Go, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Kim did say last night because she she's not so outed she's running to lisa now and she has there's videos of it might check reaper or mickey mouse but there is receipts of her texting your sister target acquired and talking on the phone and talking on the phone yep yep okay. she's going to buddy up with your sister yep. now See, I Mandy's neutral. confirming it too. On this I show? stayed neutral yeah. through all of this whole Nicole and Itty stuff because one, I didn't like Nicole at the time. And two, I don't know anything about Itty. I'm going to just be honest with you. I've never watched one of her videos. I don't think I've ever, I think I was in a live with her one time because I scrolled in and seen Nicole in there. And as soon as I came in, she dropped out. Um, but I do not know anything about her. So I've been trying to remain Switzerland because you know how everybody right. just makes stuff up and runs right. wild on this app. Yes. But she is trash, Ronnie. Itty. She's a scumbag. So, she showed her the, the proof is the proof is out there. Um, okay. and there's some other content creators um as well that have paid Lisa for exclusive yeah. information. Yeah. yeah. And if you and Ronnie, I know you're close with Villain, but get in touch with her and she could probably um also let you know all about what's going on with Eddie or Reaper if you're close to her. Because yes, Eddie is now your sister's best friend. So hey, why you got something? Yeah. Not all the tables. I feel like I'm in an episode of Days of Our Lives at this point. I swear to God. I know, I, I said agree. the days of TikTok. Like honestly, okay. like I swear my sister's like Stefano, like she goes away and she just keeps coming back. And you know, you know what, what is mean? that? Like, you heard I what she can't. did also, right? Itty gave Itty put pictures up of Jennifer's grandson. Uh, I don't care about B or Christy, but she put up Jennifer I adore and put her grandson's picture up on the internet. That's what she did, Itty. Of they were friends for you a long time. They were friends. She probably just went on her thing before she blocked her. I don't know how she got her picture, but she put the kids' pictures up on the internet. That's what she did. And now she's Lisa's best friend. So that shows you her. The cover. common denominator in all this is Victoria. Yeah. She's another piece of shit, that one. She's a real piece of shit. That child abusing <laughs> scumbag. Oh, I've been cussed her out. Every time I go into her live, she tries to kiss my ass so much that I can't even do it anymore because it makes me nauseous. <laughs> I can't do it. Yeah, Victoria. I can't, I can't a do the pick me mess. energy. I just can't. You wanted to be my sister's best friend when you was trying to help her scam money, but now that you've been kicked out at a club, you want to try and cozy up to me? I'm yeah. not about oh, that. Oh, Ronnie, she's still trying to get back in the club. She's or still texting yeah. Lisa on the back end to of this day. To this day. Oh, but no, no, no. She she never helped her scam money. Never. 
That's what she says. Oh, I don't know. She, she sent me some like twelve novels, and I didn't even read them to be honest with you. I just Popeye. kind of shot them, sent them the villain, her. and kept it moving. Listen to Popeye. She helped her. They don't help these people for free. I know that. They all know that. Bring your business. Yeah. So I like. Let's go down the road. Down the line. Uh, we live in a sick fucking world outside our real doors. On here is something I've never seen in my fucking life before. Lori, are you kidding me? Now you see Lori, her video, she's talking to herself. There's definitely voices in that head, I'm telling you. There's definitely oh, yeah. mental health, definitely something there. Like, I don't understand why the, you know, her caseworker became her best friend and seeing what's going on. Like, that's insanity to me. Victoria's got to be one of the biggest pieces of shit. You got four, uh, seven kids, and you, you're domestically violent. And you have, you beat the kids. You made one kid lie and say the other kid hurt the kid. And then you have, you know, Lisa and Kim, another, here we go, another fucking shit show. So it's like, where the, what the fuck am I, where am I? That's what I say all the time. Offer them both rehab. They need, both need to go. They both need to go. You know, and at least Lisa says she's a piece of shit and that she is a scammer and that she will do whatever it takes to get yes. money. That's yeah, why I said, said Lisa's that. not the Lisa's right. the least. Lisa is the least one out of these all crew that is the one that's the, wor the worst off because Lisa is the face of it all. You know? And everybody knows. Lisa straight up tells you, you know, this and this and this. But the other ones in the background and the ones that are pretending they didn't do shit, they're the sneakier motherfuckers than she is. Sorry. Well, Victoria jumped in my DMs because I said that she was a branch off of Lisa. Yeah, um, she and, is. And, and she is. She may yeah. have had a following before, um, but she was exploiting her pregnant daughter. And then all of her views fell off. And the only reason why people are viewing Victoria now is because of the bullshit that comes out of her mouth regarding lisa and, and yeah. Yeah. victoria was the one feeding itty lies and um itty was running with them yeah uh, and victoria plays a huge role in in stuff that's happening now so victoria is and a whole victoria piece of shit does not take accountability for shit she for might not be going and called her out on it what do you mean what? lisa's saying ronnie stole hold on look at the chat what do you mean lisa today she's saying ronnie stole money from her Lisa got no fucking money for me Here, to see. Listen to that comment, Ronnie. Hold on, babe. Wait, what? It was says, it? let me find it. One sec. I just, what the fuck? Where'd it go? Someone just said about Ronnie something about Lisa saying that you are, is that today the girl, Lisa saying Ronnie stole money from her? Who's the girl that just said that? Because I can't find you. Someone just Nicole. said that. Nicole said, now Lisa says Ronnie stole money from her. Nicole said no, it. She Nicole. Said no, she said Ronnie had her debit card. Yeah. No, Nicole, they're saying Ron, Nicole. They're saying Nicole said Ronnie stole, stole money. Yes, it was Nicole. Oh. Not not the Nicole. A oh. different yeah, it says, not today. It was on her live a couple days ago. Okay. So I'm confused. Who are they saying Ronnie stole money from? Please. Ronnie explained the debit card. Let me say it again for her loud in the back. This is not being me. Nicole said that Lisa said a couple of days ago, Ronnie stole money from her. No, Ronnie had Lisa's cash app card to get gas. That was not stealing from Lisa. It Lisa was not a cash app card. Ronnie. I just want to be honest. Yeah, it wasn't it, a cash. It was a regular debit app. card. Yeah. I but did no, Ronnie did not that. steal Lisa, that. Lisa, Lisa is stealing. Ronnie, you she steal offered something. it to me, and that that woman has caused already. me enough grief. I was taking Someone's that report me, guys. That's the last time I'm saying it. Lisa offered Ronnie nine dollars for Ronnie to put gas in her car. Le Ronnie brought the card back to Lisa yesterday. For the new people in the chat that missed Ronnie saying that. I got one violation already, so we got to keep an eye. Someone's trying to take us down. Well, you know who that is. I know. I got it for bullying. Oh, that was probably for me. It was probably Victoria. Yeah. Probably. Hey, Victoria, you scumbag. It's either going to be Victoria or Kim because Kim... Kim wants to shut down because she doesn't like what's coming out of my mouth. Kim, that's why she wants to shut down. Yeah, well, Kim, we're not we're not saying anything more that you didn't say last night. So yeah. there's that. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. I really don't care. My goal is to make that girl cry one day. I'm not joking. <laughs> and I'm going to do it. 
She's never going to cry. She don't care. Give me Kim's address. Shut up, A. <laughs> what do you say? I love your husband, Phil. Mr. Mr. Mersey you wants him. to. Did he say give me Kim's address? He sure I did. No yeah. doxing. You heard him right. No doxing, Mr. Jersey. Shut the fuck up. I mean, I'm not allowed to publicly dox somebody. It's not like I can't send somebody else a message. There you go. Look, Ronnie's helping Thank you out. Ronnie, don't chime him in, Ronnie. You're going to have to message. Shut Mother. up. I mean, no, I can't do that. It's illegal. <laughs> have any of you guys actually looked at her name? Mr. Jersey, they really love you, they said. Whose name? Like, her name says it all. Who? Dead inside. Oh, of dead course inside. It does. That's I definitely. Mean, that's what attracted me to her first, seeing her for the first time was her name. Hi, pretty lady. Are you awake now? Yes, dead inside. Why do you think she picked that? And of course. Because she's fucking dead inside. Right, shut the fuck up, hon. <laughs> fuck's wrong with you? You guys want to see a sleepy baby? Yeah. I do. Sleepy yes. babies make me happy. I can't wait to be a grandma. I'm so excited when that happens. It's the best, Fran. I, I can't love wait. it. Yes, Ronnie. What's the matter? Oh, Aww. look at the baby, bae. Oh, she's so sweet. Oh, look at that smile. Oh, for someone that feeling good, she got a little nice smile on her face. Hi, mama. You want to sit up and say hi? Hold on one second, guys. Here, come on. Let's say hi. You want to say her name or not? You don't have to yeah. say it. I call her. I call her Ray Ray. I've never called her by Raylin, honestly. Oh, that's but. pretty, Raylin. Hey, hi, oh, mama. Oh, mama. So I'm gonna sit so on the couch here. <laughs> Ronnie, I need a girl in my family so bad. That's what I want because my sister has two grandsons and my other sister has two grandsons and my future daughter-in-law, the whole family is Oh, cool. look at that smile. Look at her. She's got a look at her. Oh. Hi, pretty girl. How are you? With oh. the mamas. God bless Ronnie. Ronnie, and this is and this is I mean this with sincereness. Give me that binky back. In, in our my world we have a saint and it's I don't know what your religion is, but it's called Saint Gerard and it's for mothers and children. And I would love to send you they give you it's like a little pendant and you put it in her room or in her car seat, wherever she's always is, and it keeps her protected if you want. I would love to, I'll send yeah. it to you for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Send me, a, also, send me so, a message. I will. They're and the pre the pope. the pope blesses them and then he sends them to our church okay i'm gonna be completely honest with you i personally am not religious right but either I are we anymore respect either are we. people's beliefs no i'm not religious anymore i was raised catholic but i don't believe in that anymore i have a great relationship with god myself but i still believe in those medals because um there has been like if he's also helps people that can't get pregnant and I, when, the, when that's the case, they give you an envelope and it has all kinds of things inside it. And then you send it to somebody in hoping that they, that they get pregnant. And I, gave, and, and I gave it to somebody. Uh, friend, Ronnie, Ronnie's trying to keep up with the one she's got right now. She no, 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 this, this woman that I gave it to, she had wind up having triplets. That's oh, what I'm okay. I'll After go years and years. years <laughs> um, not ha no, I'm trying to make Ronnie have no more children. I couldn't do two at a time. I remember two and a half years apart, and they still drove me fucking cock. You almost gave me a heart attack. I was going to say, look, I did like you. I don't know about now. <laughs> Hold on one second. My love, I will definitely, definitely get that to you. Okay? For sure. Because it's, um, I will try, the envelopes charge up fine, but I will try to get you another one if I can. But, um, yeah, they have. CCK, um, CCK message, Fran. So. Yes. For a medal. Yeah. Yes. Actually, yeah. for the moms that are up here, can I ask y'all a question? <laughs> Are we off topic? Yes. I'm gonna just ask yeah. the question. Have nope. any of y'all got your tubes done? I, I did. Not. I wish I had. I did at 21. I no. just. I did. In the state of Pennsylvania, because this state is just so stupid, I hate oh living God, here. The worst. Um, I had to sign a paper stating that I wanted to be sterilized, and then I have to wait at least thirty days to make sure I don't change my mind. Can I and ask then, how old you are? Uh, I will be green thirty-five. Eye, you the just day got after a flag, Christmas. green eye, on my life. Uh, I didn't even say anything. I don't know what I was violated for. I just got it for you. Go ahead. No, what what, what was it for, like, though? It's when safe. I got mine done. Um, I, I didn't want any more kids after my first son, but because I was only 21 and married, my husband at the time had to sign a paper and he refused to sign it. Oh. But then I ended up having two more kids 
and then I had to because my kidney were my right kidney is so bad that they told me if I was to have another one, I would not make it through the pregnancy. So I'm going to be making some videos here soon. Um, so if you want, you guys can look out for that or not. I, it doesn't really matter. But I'm going to be going into detail about why. Like, mine's not. I mean, I did make the decision, but it's not entirely optional. Um, so I figured I'm going to just come on here and make it a conversation because I don't see it talked about enough. You know what I mean? Yeah. I want to show you the metal, everybody. <sighs> Wow, that's so pretty. Can you see it? Oh, hell. I should, as I'm dropping a Catholic thing, I'm saying hell. But I can't get it. The right nails. I will not try and get them the whole envelope. You know, I was, I had three, I had three children by the age of 21. And I just asked my doctor and he was just like done. So well, for me, it wasn't a problem. Am I lagging? Kids, Someone said I'm lagging. lagging. I was told at 18 that I would never be able to have kids. Ah. So I was a miracle my, baby. I lived my entire life thinking that I wasn't going to have kids until one day I woke up at 33 and, you know, peed on a stick and. Uh, that must have pregnant. been outrageous for you. Oh my God. I was 33 when I got pregnant, 33 when I had her, which Aww. was wild. I was 21 with my first and 23 with my second. I'm 56 now. Yeah, I'll be 35 the day after Christmas. Yeah, you're my son's age. My oldest is 35. I and like my doctor's, mind. my doctor's totally on board. Like he doesn't, he's, he, the reasoning makes it, you know, it needs to be done. You know what I mean? It's just, I don't, I'm not sure. I've never really had surgery, so I don't know what to expect. And I'm going to be completely transparent. I am an absolute crybaby when it comes to pain. Like, yeah. I could stub my toe and cry for two hours. I'm not joking. Yeah. It's yeah. not that bad, to be honest <laughs> with you. It's a walk in the park. You have a natural promise. birth, Rami? I did, yes. Okay. So that should be yeah, easier, but it's not a big day. deal. You're, I, I, um, I had a sense of 29 years ago, and it's not, it's, it's a walk in the park. I promise. It is. It's yeah. not. It's not a big deal. It's not like you're getting a hysterectomy. You're just tying your tubes. It's a. I think it's. I don't even know if it's a, a same day procedure because I've never it had is. it. So I wouldn't know. He same said day. it's outpatient. Like it's all laparoscopic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They don't tie them anymore. They just completely remove them. You're gonna have That's cramping. I would think like period removed. cramps. Mine were burned. I'm so used to. It. Yeah. The only thing Mine he said to me though that makes. Good. That makes me nervous is he said that recovery is seven to ten days and for the first seven days I'm not allowed to pick her up. Oh damn. No. Yeah. You're not allowed to. That's Let me tell you something when I had mine problem. done. When I had mine done nineteen then. years ago, I went to the carnival the same day because I'm like, Oh, I feel good. Well let me tell you something. I ended up back at back in the hospital the next day because I overdid it. Cause I was like, I can go to the carnival, I'm fine, I feel great. Yeah, that's yeah, well, the next yeah, exactly. So, but I mean, you can't lift anything over like 10 pounds for a week. They just don't want you to like, you know. You'll really hurt yourself if you do. And it'd be more complications if you do that. So yeah. that's why they recommend don't do what they tell you to do. So Ronnie, if you don't have somebody to help you, I would put it off till you do. Because you cannot lift that baby and she's not going to understand why you can't.